Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, welcome back to Bad Beast Barbecue. I'm your host, Daryl Smith. And yep, I'm in a fleece because it's about 35, 40 degrees outside, but we're not gonna let that stop us from doing a simple smoke today. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be smoking some lead quarters we have here. We got about five, six lead quarters, and we've had them marinating for about four to five hours uh, in this Rev Ray's rub here. And uh, I'm gonna give you a link to Rev Ray. Uh, he's out of St. Charles, Missouri, and uh, he's a minister at one of the churches out there, and he has his own line of, of rubs. So I want you to uh, check out his website. He also has a catering business, but he has three different rubs. And uh, I've tested this number three, and he also gave me a one that's in production that has some ghost pepper in it, and it's real, real good. So I'm going to give you the link to this. Check him out. Uh, support the man. Uh, he has a great product here, and uh, you won't be disappointed. So we're going to be putting this stuff out on the Rec Tech. So I don't know if you've seen our Rec Tech yet, but I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the Rec Tech that we have out there and uh, show you what it can do, and then we're gonna go ahead and put these lead quarters on. Simple cook today, so hang around. All right guys, here it is. This is our uh, Rectech RT300 Rectech Mini. Okay, it's a lot smaller than the, um, the bigger version, but it packs just as much power. It's got a, got a hopper here that uh, holds your, your pellets and things of that nature and right now we're using uh, Rectex premium pellets so it's a mixture of maple and apple and all kind of different woods and stuff uh, the cooking time on this chamber here full up to the brim is anywhere from 10 to 14 hours depending on the temperature you're cooking on and the weather conditions down here we have the, uh, the gauge in which you set turn it on and you set your timer and stuff it has the actual temperature and it has the temperature that you want to set it to so it's very simple uh, instead of the smokestack like the big one has they have two slots back here on the back of the smoker where the smoke and the heat comes from uh, it's got a great finish on the smoker it's got some great bull handles for the uh, for the bull logo uh, if you see the chamber is pretty big uh, for a mini uh, we were able to cook uh, two full slabs of ribs uh, and today we're going to be like I showed you before we're going to be putting on about six lead quarters on here uh, we put some foil down on the drip pan to ease cleaning and things of that nature so the Rec Tech is a, a real good smoker we've been smoking on it now for a, a few days and uh, we're going to be making several videos on it so if you're interested in buying one of these Rec Tech smokers and you want to know how it cooks then check out some of our videos uh, for the next couple of weeks and we're gonna definitely be putting it through its paces. Okay, so let's go get the lead quarters and get them on this thing. Okay, so the chicken's been on for almost two hours and now we're gonna go ahead and put a little uh, Carolina tweet sauce on it. This sauce was pretty good. It's got a nice little twang to it. A friend of mine brought it back from the Carolinas for me. I'm gonna go ahead and sauce these bad boys. So we're gonna sauce top side and we're going to flip them over for the another few minutes after this barbecue sauce tacks up here and we're going to do the other side and then we'll be good to go this rec tech smoker definitely does an amazing job on cooking food All right, let's give that a few more minutes and we'll be back to flip it over.
So, so we've taken the lead quarters off of the Rec Tech smoker and it did a fantastic job. The room, man, you can just smell that Carolina treat uh, barbecue sauce. And so we're gonna go and see how that married up with that Reverend Ray's rub. So if you look at it, man, the skin, uh, because of the the barbecue sauce is not gonna be crispy, 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 but uh, I wanted more of that tang flavor. And uh, if you don't if you don't want it to be have rubbery skin, then don't put any kind of sauce on it and just let it go ahead and uh, cook on out. So remember we cooked at 325 degrees, so we cooked kind of hot. And uh, we went on ahead and, and took them off the smoker at uh, 170 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste test. Mm. I tell you, that Rex Tech did a good job of putting some smoke on this chicken. And with the uh, Carolina treat sauce and that Reverend Ray's rub, it, it's an outstanding piece of chicken. Nice, tender, smoky, juicy. <clears throat> Matter of fact, it's got a little kick in the back of my throat there. <clears throat> well, it's a simple cook today. That's all we had time for. So, if you're interested in getting a Rec Tech smoker and you got some more questions, contact me. I'll be glad to fill you in on what we think about the product, but I believe it's an excellent smoker. So it's very durable, and for such a small smoker, it packs a lot of punch. So that's all we have time for once again. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you around the smoker. Mm -hmm.